Arjuna to be in action. So what is the main motive? Action. Karma. But understand karma is not what regularly I do. Any casual job which I do cannot be called as karma. I am going to Aurora and teaching and coming back. That's not karma. Understood. What is karma? This is karma. Which is not expected from me, I am doing it. Extra. Understood. Which generally people don't do. Anything which you do. As a student, you have something to do. That's your expected from you. What you are doing now, you are coming on a Sunday and spending time and learning. This is an extra karma. So as per Bhagavad Gita, he has a karma, Arjuna has a karma, that he is doing. But Krishna knows that anyway Arjuna will fight. But he has to do something more than that. When do you do that? When you want to serve the world. When you understand the purpose of your life. When you start becoming realization. That realization will come when you have done. What the difference between karma and nana with the karma? Understood? The karma is what you do. Every devotee does a painting job. Do you think that he is doing his karma? No. That is only job. Don't misunderstand what is job and karma. So in Bhagavad Gita, you have first part is talking about the karma. Second part is talk, talking about the bhakti part. Third part is on the buddhi, logic, knowledge. So three major portions. If you look at the Bhagavad Gita, 18 chapters. The first chapter is Arjuna Vishada Yoga. Arjuna is not sad because he don't have bhakti, he don't have buddhi. He is not able to do his karma. Yeah, karma is not one to do his karma. Okay. So that part is the karma, karma part. Ashdhana Vishada Yoga, first chapter is in the karma. Sankhya Yoga. What is Sankhya Yoga? Knowledge Yoga. Nana Tattva. But for what? For karma. It is very specific about karma. That Nana, just know what I said. Nana, not for knowledge, for not for knowledge's sake. Knowledge for karma, activity's sake. Therefore, it is also Nana Tattva with a karma attached to it. So that is there in the Sankhya Yoga. Sankhya is logic. Sankhya Yoga means logically think about it. That's a Nana Tattva. Tattva is there. Sankhya Yoga means Tattva. Tattva Nana. Okay, it's like a philosophy. Why do you want to live in this world? You think why are you living? Why are you wasting it? That people say that. That's a Nana Tattva. Yeah. Okay. Or Tattva Nana. You can say both. Then the Karma Yoga. Third chapter is Karma Yoga. Well, it is not karma doing for your salary. Understood? Selfless action is what is called karma. Why are you doing it? Because you enjoy doing it. Who are the beneficiaries? Some people are beneficiaries. What are they paying you? Your satisfaction. That is more important. Whether you are satisfied after the job or not. If you are satisfied, that means your job is taken. Suppose people are not satisfied with your job, then whatever you do is not correct. So Karma Yoga in that sense also. So Arjuna Vishada Yoga is telling his troubles and problems. Arjuna Vishada Yoga. Arjuna is in Sangha. Sankhya Yoga, it talks about Tattva Shatra. Tattva Jnana. You are not supposed to do this, you are supposed to do that. So the essence of Bhagavad Gita can be seen in the second chapter Sankhya Yoga. Which is the core. It's like an abstract. Or maybe hypothesis of the program in the research paper they will write. So if you read that you will understand it. So therefore if you read the second chapter you know Bhagavad Gita essence. Okay. Because Tattva is there, Nanam is there and it comes in the Karma. Karma. Okay. So the first 